All right, kids. Ham and Cheese here with you. We're going to do a real short video today. Um, what you see in front of you here, this is a Samlex 30 amp uh, switching supply. Received it in a group of items that we purchased here not long ago. It does work. I've tested it. It does work. Unfortunately, when trying to remove set screws, take out studs that were in there and cut off right at the wire and the stud. We broke one and in turn found that the set screws were heavily damaged. As you can see there and there. So what we're going to do is we're going to splice this using solder and we'll heat shrink around and we're just going to make a direct connection that way and put a, I think we have about 12 feet of wire here we're going to put on and then we'll just put power pulls right on the end of that. So um, we're going to be giving this to a new ham. And we're going to set them up as best we can to get it to where we need to be. I thought about replacing the set screws in this. But I did some mods to them. And I don't like the way they fit. And I don't like the way this sets up. So we'll come back here in a second. We'll show you what we did to it. Alright. So we've gone ahead. Got these soldered in. Connections are solid now. And then the next step will be we're going to go ahead and heat shrink. And uh, we'll go from there and see what we can do with it. So stay tuned. Alright kids, so we got her all buttoned up, ready to go. And we're going to go ahead and test it now, make sure everything's functioning as should be. Alright, so a little bit of rise there on the millivolts. Let's go ahead and test it for continuity. And we have good continuity. All right, fire it up. Well, no smoke, no pop. Guess we did something right. Test again. And we have 13.7 volts on a 13.8 power supply. That's pretty good. Now you can see here, voltage is only reading seven. When I tested this thing, that's exactly what it did when I had it up on the bench yesterday when I first got this in a package. And that leads me to today's cheap and easy tip. When you go to purchase equipment used, test it before you buy it, okay? Look it over real good, make sure it's what you want. Now luckily, this was a bonus in the package. I wasn't going after this when I bought the um, cash that I got here the other day. What I was after was an Astron 30 amp switching supply. Paid $100 for the lot. This was a bonus inside. As you can see, there's no glass in this thing. No glass. And it was damaged, as you saw in the beginning of the video. The individual who had this and the other stuff in the lot did not take care of his equipment. Uh, heavy smoker. I have a Kenwood V7, you're going to see that in another video, that we found to be covered in nicotine and tar and had a lot of damage to it. Uh, we're slowly working on the resurrection video for that. So there's that. But we've got this up and going. It's going to a new ham, currently running just a Bofang. We're going to pair it up with a nice icon for him and we're going to get him up and running and functional. At least to the point where he can do some different things. And he has some interest in packet. A uh, little bit of SSTV. And APRS. So this will be a good starter set for him. With that Icon 2 meter. Alright. So there it is. Fixed on the cheap and easy. All took with some wire. And a little bit of ingenuity. And we are good to go. Alright kids. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.